Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to cover how to update the firmware on your Dynojet Power Vision 3. Now there are three different methods to update the firmware on the Power Vision 3. Today I'm going to cover uh, the first method, the method that I uh, prefer as it is the only method that works both on a Windows and Mac computer. So the first step is going to be to open a web browser of your choice. I happen to have Firefox uh, open right now. We're going to go to dinojet.com. Across the top here, we'll find support, downloads. I'll left click on downloads. Scroll down, find the PowerVision 3. Again, left click. This will take me to the main support area. I'm going to scroll down, collapse, manuals and install guides, software. There we go, firmware. Now, you're going to need uh, to select the proper, uh, appropriate firmware for um, the application that you're working with. So there's Can-Am, there's Honda, Indian, Polaris, Yamaha. Okay, so today we're going to work with Honda. I'm going to left-click on the download icon. This version here should match what's listed on the website. You'll be offered two different options here open or save today uh, and in most cases you'll want to save that your web browser should have an icon that will show you the downloads and i will go to windows explorer where i have this file downloaded now the next step is to plug in your power vision 3 with the supplied usb cable to your computer the PowerVision 3 mounts to your computer, again, whether it's Windows or Mac, as a USB uh, memory uh, stick. Okay, so we'll find it right here, PowerVision. And what we're going to do is take the firmware that we have downloaded, which is here in Downloads, and we can drag and drop the firmware directly to it. The other option is to right click and say copy. Right click on the power vision and say paste. <clears throat> You'll see that the firmware is essentially moving from the drive where you saved it on your computer to the power vision 3. That'll just take a second. <clears throat> and now we see that on our power vision, we have the appropriate firmware. Next up, we'll show you how to process the firmware directly from the power vision three to update it. Okay, now that the correct file is on the power vision three, it's time to update the firmware. From the device, you will select the rectangular button between the two arrows and be presented with this menu. You'll arrow down to device tools. Again, using that center rectangular button to select. And we're gonna scroll down one, two, three, four to update the device. Select the firmware that's available. And then again, the center button, rectangular button to update the device. On the screen itself, you'll notice the process of installing the firmware is just going to take a few seconds. The device will reboot. And then you'll uh, verify the firmware has indeed been installed. You can do this quite easily. Again, from the main menu, which will take the center button press, the rectangular button. Device tools, device information, 
and make sure that the firmware version here matches the one that you downloaded. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.